Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video. Today you guys voted on it so we're going to be doing some more of these eBay grab bags. Each one of these has 17 cards, they were $2 each, and we're going to be doing this entire tin, which is about 10 of them. I, I think it's exactly 10. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also trying out a new audio setup, so let me know how it sounds. I'm going to switch over to the old audio setup for the first pack for comparison purposes, and then we'll go back to the new setup from the second pack and on. So over to the old setup. And here we are with the old audio setup. This is what I've always used for my Pokemon card videos. And let's go and open the first pack. I'm not going to do any kind of card trick. I'm pretty sure all of the rares are at the back. And, well, there's a card in the sleeve, so we might have a holographic in here. Well, let's get focused up, and let's get started. The first card we have is a Fletchling from Pokemon X and Y. We have a Hoppip from one of the Neo sets that's back in Gen 2. I think that might be the original Hoppip card. Pretty cool. Uh, we have a Haunted, once again, from X and Y. We have, ooh, Trico from Crystal Guardians. That's actually a Logo Hollow, or this is what they used to call their Reverse Hollow, so pretty cool. I think I might have that actually, so cool to have duplicates. This one seems to be in very good condition. We have a Base Set 2 Switch card. We have Kabuto from the Delta Species. This is a electric type. We got Eerie Light. The Defending Pokemon is now confused. We have this Creepy Ponytop from Flashfire. I've got a lot of those guys. We have Petalil from... I don't know what set that's from actually, but something Gen 5. We've got a Spritzy Reverse Hollow. We have a Solosis. Always looks like a butt. <laughs> is it this mirror? Does Solosis look like a gosh dang booty? I think he does. We have a Furfroof, uncommon from X and Y. We have Coughing, I think that's Plasma Blast, I could be wrong. We have Revive, Bianca. Ooh, a base set Growlithe. It's not a Shadowless or a First Edition, so nothing too special, but still very cool. We have a Camerupt, which is, that's a rare, that's not a Hollow, but Team Magma's Camerupt. Love to see that Gen 3 action. And the last card, oh, a Holographic Fossil Muck. This is the third card set. Muck is one of the most common uh, fossil cards, or most common fossil rares, because he was from a... Uh, a deck, one of the theme decks, but still very cool to see. And let's switch back to the new audio. Now with the new audio, let's get to the second pack. We've got nine more of these to go. This might be a bit of a long video, but because there's so many different cards from so many different sets, I really don't want to rush through things. I hope you guys understand. So here we have a Caterpie from one of the Neo sets. Spin Tackle. Caterpie does 10 damage to itself. Fantastic. Caterpie, always a great Pokemon. Although that's actually not that bad. I mean, it, it does 20 damage, which is... For back in the day, that was pretty decent for one energy. We have a Phantom from X and Y. A Pikachu. Seeing quite a lot of X and Y stuff here. We have a C Dot. Ooh, there's a old Oddish. I've already got all of the jungle non-rares, so just a duplicate. But I'll check for conditions, see if it's better than uh, the condition I have on my Oddish in my collection, I guess. We have a Delta Species Electric Psyduck. Got a Stunky. There's a Sea Waddle. Not, again, not sure on that set. Oh yeah, we got a Gumi. I was not expecting to see Gumi in this, but I guess we're going to have to do a Gumi counter just in case there's more than one. We also have a Magnemite. Oop, just skipped a card right there. We have, ooh, a Prinplup. Sick, I don't even think I have that. We have LGM. Honestly, a lot of these cards I don't have that we're getting. That's why I love these grab bags so much, is because I have a lot of the newer cards because I've been doing booster boxes. Older stuff, not so much. So we've got that. We have a Pokemon Communication. Professor Juniper, that's a World Series card right there. Another one of these uh, base set Growlithe's. Oh, there's our first rare. We have a Jellicent Team Plasma Blast. Or Team Plasma Blast, just a Team Plasma. I don't know why I added Blast on there. And the last card is a Holographic Chestnut. Nice, I'm pretty sure I have this, but still very cool to see. If, as long as we get, if we get any hollows in these packs, I'm pretty excited about that. So that's actually two hollows. I guess I'll put those aside. Yeah, I mean... Considering these are $2 packs, we're probably not going to get anything too crazy, but hollows are good. I think there's a chance at EXs in these as well, probably just cheap EXs. But right there, the original Dunsparce card, as far as I know. Awesome. We have a Shelter, a Fletchling. Yeah, lots of, you can see the symbol right down there, lots of the base X and Y. This guy probably just had a bunch of that laying around. We have a Why Not, Auron, Sandile, Panseer, a Geodude, Spritzy. Remoraid, uh, Holon Lake, wow, um, I think that must be from the Holon Phantom set, I think everything Holon's from that, I could be wrong, but I don't think I've ever seen a stadium that requires an energy card. We have search your deck for a Pokemon that has Delta on its card, show it to your opponent and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So an actual stadium that requires energy, that seems extremely bizarre, but I guess that's what we're doing. We have an X and Y, I think that's from the Frogadier or the Froakie starter set maybe. 
We have Pokemon Communication. We just got that last time. Kakuna. Oh, a Shadowless Arcanine. That is awesome. Let me see if I can get my Growlithe out to compare. So this is a thing with the base set. There's actually a few different types of cards. You have Shadowless, which is this, and you have a Unlimited, which is this. You can see on the Shadowless, the right side here, how there's that drop shadow. That shadow is not present on this one, which is why they call it Shadowless. There's also a thinner uh, font for the HP. So it's just kind of like three different sets for base set if you're looking to get everything. But that is just an uncommon. Our rare is a Simi Sage. And we also have a holographic superior promo. Nice. Three hollows in a row, dude. I mean, we kind of know there's a hollow as soon as we see that there's a sleeve. So it is kind of spoilers, but at the same time, I'm very happy that they do sleeve the cards to keep them protected. So three hollows already. Let's keep going. We got seven more to go. I already know my recording is going to stop at some point during this, and I'll have to get it going again. Another hollow, it looks like, at the back. We have a lily pup, slugma, a sleep. Oh, first edition team rocket sleep. Cool. We have a Bell Sprout. I actually, I mentioned that I do have all the commons and uncommons for the jungle set. That does not apply to first edition. Now, there's no Shadowless for jungle, but first edition, if there's a stamp right there, it's probably something I need. We have a Corefish, a Litleo, ooh, Cottony, Cotton Guard. See that move a lot in the actual game. I don't think I've seen it too much on the, on the cards here. We have Nidoran Male, a Skrelp, Elisa, wow. She's in her, her crazy outfit right there. I think that's what she wore in Gen 5, right? When she came back. We have a Relicanth, Ether, a Revive. Whoa, look at this card, guys. It's a sparkly uh, Radiant Collections, I think it's called. Piplup. Sparkles all over that bad boy. Mix it in with the fact that it is a Sui Art. That is pretty sick right there. Let's just get a close-up on those sparkles. Gosh dang. And the last card is... Oh, we're not done. We are not done. That does not even count as our rare. We have a Haunter. And our rare is actually a Kyogre from Team Aqua. Team Aqua's Kyogre, very nice. And we have a Holographic Chestnut. Oh, Team Aqua's... Why did I say Chestnut? What the heck? Team Aqua's Crawdont is what I meant. It's got the little symbol kind of blocking out his name right there. But very cool. Four Holographics in a row. Can we keep this streak going through the whole thing? That would be amazing. I think we just might. We have another sleeve in the back, so maybe another Hollow. Got another one of these Caterpies, so a couple duplicates here, but that's all right. We got some Rhyhorn, some Spritzy. I really don't mind seeing duplicates from time to time, considering just how much variety we have to begin with. It's not the end of the world if we get a couple things that are not new. We have an Esper. We got a Paris. Scraggy. Always love me some Scraggy. Beautiful Sui Art Machop. He looks kind of stubby, though. I mean, I love, I, just, I love her art mostly because of the just the coloring and the styling, but <laughs> that's some bizarre proportions there from Machop. I still like it. I think it's kind of adorable, actually. Let's zoom all the way back out. There we go. We have, ooh, Bayleaf. I think that might be the original Bayleaf card all the way back from one of the Neo sets. Oh, I saw a reverse hollow there. We also have a Vanillish Surefire Spin. Flip two coins. If both of them are heads, this attack does 40 more damage. Wow. We have a Max Revive. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile on top of your deck. Reverse hollow right there. We have an Escape Rope. A third. Three Growlis, non shadowless non-first edition. I'd love some more mix-ups on those. Oh my gosh, we have a Cleffa. This card is amazing. I think I might have pulled this on a video before. I can't remember. But Cleffa was huge for the actual uh, competitive gameplay because her ability to shuffle your hand into your deck then draw seven cards was huge. Also, there's an ability right here, which basically, if an opponent attacks a baby Pokemon, which Cleffa is, they have to flip a coin. If they get Tails, that attack does nothing. So you could just stall the game out, draw cards until you get exactly what you want. It was pretty sick. And we also have one of my favorite Pokemon, a Vivian right here. Pretty sure I already have this card, but holographic nonetheless. Glad to see it. Five holographics in a row. We're halfway done with all these packs. Let's keep it moving. And I see yet another sleeve in the back. We're on a roll with these. We have a Poochiena right here. Oh, there's a Logo Hollow Lotad. Wow, we also have a Japanese Team Rocket. I forget the name of this. If you guys remember the name, let me know. I think it's like uh, Digger, maybe. We have a Cubone. Meowth, Delta Species. Gosh dang, Dark and Steel. Holy heck. We have Flabebe. A Reverse Holographic Switch from Black and White. Nice. We have a Weedle. Oh my gosh, another Reverse Holo. We have Shinx. And then a Reverse Holographic Minchino. A lot of people seem to love Minchino. I guess it's just one of those cute Pokemon that certain people are fans of. We have a Shauna. Oh, a Shy Mecha. Wow. That is a very long Poke Power. I'm not going to read all that, but there you go. 
We also have a Whalmer. Oh, a Purloin Radiant Collections, number 13 out of 25. Sparkly as heck. We got like little sparkle lines here. There's like a circle thing. Pretty cool. There's a dual ball from one of the esports. <laughs> esports. Yes, yeah, definitely from one of the esports series. Not from one of the e-reader. It's definitely esports. Uh, wow, another Cleffa. I guess I could make a competitive deck if I was still playing in Gen, uh, Gen 2 with all these Cleffas. And the last card is a Holographic Dust Noir. I think this was one of the only hollows I didn't pull uh, from my Flashfire booster box. Might have been the only one. And I'm not sure if I got them since that booster box, but if I didn't, I now have Dust Noir. So very cool. Okay, four more to go. Let's see. Another card sleeve. Are we just going to get ten holographics in a row? That would be amazing. We have a Pokeball right here. Jigglypuff. A Numel. Oh, wow, there we go. Like I was saying, first edition I need for the jungle set. So first edition Pikachu. Actually getting something to add to my favorite set collection. So I'm going to set that one aside. Kind of in a little bit of bad shape. There's a, some dings in the little crease right there. So not the best condition. I'll probably replace it if I get a better one. But it's better than nothing, right? We have an Anorith. A Spritzy. Reverse Holographic Sea Waddle. A Rattata. Collect, draw a card. Hey, not bad. Okay, my re movie recording stopped as I expected. It kind of cuts out after like 10 minutes, but we're back. We have an Esper. This is directly after that Rattata. We have a Reverse Holographic Spritzy. I feel like we've gotten like three of those. We have a Zuelis. Another one of these Bay Leaves. Nice. An Escape Rope. Uh, reverse Holographic Evo Soda. Wow, a fourth Growlithe. How many Growlithes did this guy have? Dang. Our rare is a Seismitoad, and the last card is a Holographic Espeon. Wow. Solar Suggestion. Move up to four damage counters from any of your Pokemon to any of your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. That sounds sick. Uh, that is the set symbol right there. Let me get a close-up on that. If you guys know what set that is, let me know. I'm actually not sure on that. Very nice card. Okay, three to go. And guys, I have even more of these little packs, so if you guys enjoy these... Give me a heads up and I'll, I'll open the rest of them on camera for you guys too. We have another sleeve back here. We also have a slack off. That looks like two slack offs to me. We have a Bunnelby. A, oh, Goop Gas Attack. I always hated this card. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it, but as a kid I always hated this. Maybe it was just too common. Oh, another first edition jungle card. Yes. Just commons, but I'm adding to that collection. So let's set aside that Paris. We have a Delta Species Horsey. A Sneasel from Flashfire. Pan Sage. I think we got Semi Sage before, so cool to pair them up. We have a Do Duo. Another is that the same Sneasel? Well, we got two of the same Sneasels in the same pack. I guess that's a bit of a bummer, but oh well. We have a Piplup, Reverse Holographic, Evo Soda. We have Holon Adventurer. Cool. We have Palpitoad. Round does twenty more twenty damage times the number of Pokemon. Wait, times the number of your Pokemon that have the round attack. So I guess if you have a bunch of those, you're good to go. Whoa, a holographic Frogadier. I don't think the last one is hollow, so that must be like one per deck or something from the starter set. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I see something peeking out that might be good. We have a base set Shadowless Haunter. I think before the Haunter we got was not Shadowless, so now we got that as well. Oh my goodness, we have a Keldeo EX. That is not even in the sleeve. That is not even the last card. We got an actual EX in one of these $2 packs alongside some other stuff. I believe that that's a signature, so I think that's the World Championships one. And the last card is a holographic Golurk. So we got a World Championships EX Keldeo right there. So I don't know if that's worth anything, but it's cool to see. And we have a Golurk. So I don't know why I didn't sleeve up that one, but still. So here's the last two. Let's get to it. Is that another? Wow, maybe he was just feeling generous when he sent out this pack, because I'm pretty sure the first time we did this, there were definitely not sleeves in every single pack. But maybe this time things have changed. We have a Shelder, Bidoof, another one of these Tricos, Jungle Eevee, a Baltoy, which is a very inappropriate name, another one of these Sneasels, Oh, wow. A beautiful Deerling. Oh, of course. Every time I'm, like, appealed by an art, I'm like, wow, that art is beautiful. I look down, and of course, it's Suey. I'm sorry. I just can't help myself. We have a Phoebus. Sandile. There's a Throw. I wish his name was Thor. That'd be so much better. We have Diggersby. Combuskin. Oh, missed one right there. What is it? We have a Verbank City Gym. I'm pretty sure this is a very big card for the competitive scene. Put two more damage counters on poison Pokemon. That's that's pretty crazy. 
We have a crustal. Holy crud, is that the fifth of these Growlithe? How many of these Growlithe do I need? I guess five of them, apparently. And our rare is a Beedrill from X and Y. I've got quite a few of these as well. And the last card, oh my gosh, a Zapdos, my second favorite Pokemon of all time from the Fossil Set, no less. Pretty sure I have like two of these from a, from one of the lots I did, but so cool to see Zapdos. I could just fill up an entire page of uh, card sleeves with Zapdos and I would be happy. So out of all the hollows we could have seen, that would have been one of my top picks. That's awesome. And here we go, guys, the last pack of the video. What will be inside? Who knows? And... This one also has a sleeve, so it looks like we're going to get 10 holographics in a row. We have an Electrike here. There's a C-Dot. Oh, first edition Team Rocket's Oddish. Wow. There's a Pokeball from the jungle set. Ball Toy, we've already seen that guy. There's a Buizel. Switch. Magnemite. Oh, there's a second Goomy. Helioptile, second Goomy. Let's go. We have an Energy Retrieval. Camerupt. We have a Delibird. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely terrifying. That might be the scariest art I've ever seen. He's got like a donut on his face. I guess that's supposed to be his lips. Are you guys seduced by Stunfisk right here? <laughs> oh, there he's going to attract you and then mud slap you. That's just creepy. Ooh. There we go. Whoa, we have a reverse holographic Master Ball. That's pretty sick. We have a Nidoking, I guess that, is that our rare? Yep, that is our rare. We have a Nidoking right there. He's got Love Strike, I guess that can go along with the Stunfisk there. The last card of the video is a Holographic First Edition Fossil Lapras. My goodness, that is awesome. Well, guys, that is actually, wow, we've got three Holographic Fossil cards in this set. And only one First Edition, but a beautiful Lapras. That might be worth something, actually. I'll put it up on the screen. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. That was some pretty awesome pulls there. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. The other thing you guys voted on was the Primal Clash Elite Trainer Box. Kind of hard to fit it on frame here. So I'll be opening this on Friday. So I'll see you guys then. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what was your favorite card that I pulled. And also, what do you think of the new audio setup? I'll see you guys next time. Take care.